Okay, welcome back to Strength Coach Tutorials. This is episode nine, and today we're going to be talking about being able to save your set and rep systems and being able to recall those whenever you want. Um, for this episode, we're going to be using the same worksheet that we used in episode seven that we talked about the percentage-based training. Um, and a reminder, what we accomplished in episode seven is you're able to select your athlete name, um, it's going to pull up their max values, and then you're able to select what max you want to program off of in the boxes down here, which allows for quick and easy percentage-based training. And I'll have a link to that um, in the description. Okay, so moving on. The first thing you want to go ahead and do is we want to make a set and rep table, and we want to format this as a table that holds all of our set and rep schemes in it. And I've done this here. I put 3 times 4, 4 times 4, 5 times 4, 3 times 5, etc. These are all straight sets. There's no percentages associated with them. And then for demonstration purposes, I've done two percentage base sets down here, a 5x5 five five at 75% and a 5x5 five five at 90%. Um, a quick note, you can, you can add percentages to this table, but I just like to put 0 0.75 and 0 0.9, 0 0.75, 0 0.9 for the percentages there. And that just makes it easy for me to recall them later. So we go back to our workout sheet. The first thing we want to do is make the set and rep scheme selectable in this box here, the set and rep box. And the way we're going to do that is we got to create another named range. So we select the set rep name and we're going to pr press control alt F3. And we're going to call this um, name set times rep. And that way um, we delete the all, the all value here. And so it's just the set times rep value um, of the table and then we're good to go. So okay there. So now we have name, set, times, rep, and that's going to be our named range that we've been using. And another quick note is when you're using tables, it's a good idea to name them so that we can recall them and know what tables we're, we're working with. So a way to do that is click anywhere on the table, go to the design tab, and go over here to table name, and you can see I've already named mine. Um, I like to put TBL to signify that it's a table and then an underscore and then a description of the table. So I've called this one TBL underscore set rep. Now we'll go back to our workout sheet here and we're going to make that set and rep scheme selectable. So we select the boxes we want to do a data validation in. We go data, data validation, and then list and we can call it name set times rep because that's the one we just created and okay. So if we look here, any of those Value should be selectable, so we'll select the 5x5 five five at 75%. So now that we're able to recall those set and rep values, what we want to do is be able to index them into our workout table over here. And what we're going to use to accomplish that is VLOOKUP. So the way we're going to do this is select the set value, because we're going to do that first, and we're going to type equals VLOOKUP bracket, and the value that we want to look up is the H9 cell, which holds the 5x5 five five at 75%. And we're going to lock that in with some dollar signs. We don't want that to change. And then we're going to put a comma. And the table we want to use is TBL set rep. And then comma. We want to look up the second column, because if we go back to our workout sheet, or sorry, our uh, index sheet here, you can look, I've numbered all the columns. So the set column is number two. So we'll go back here, back to our VLOOKUP function, so number two, and then comma false, because we want an exact match. And then if we hit that, we should be able to index any set and rep that we, or any set that we choose. So if we choose a set with four, it goes to four. If we choose a set with three, it goes right to three. So let's go back to our five by five at 75%. One thing you're gonna notice, however, is that if we were to delete this and have no set rep there, we hit delete, it's gonna give us an error value of NA. So the way to get rid of this is if we're gonna use an if error function. So I'm gonna select that set, or I'm gonna select that cell, and I'm gonna type in the VLOOKUP formula bar, we're gonna type if error, bracket, and then it's gonna ask us for the value. So we're gonna use the VLOOKUP as our value because that's what we wanna display, and then comma, and then the value if there is an error. And for that we wanna use um, a nothing cell. And the way you make that is two quotation marks side by side and then bracket. And now it's going to look like nothing if we have nothing selected. So we go back to our five by five, 
and that's going to highlight there. So then we can use this cell and we can copy it over. Um, we can hit use paste formula and it's going to copy the set value. And what we do to change that is we just change the column. So if we go to column three, it's going to index the reps now. If we copy that again, paste formula, it's going to index it and it thinks we're looking at the five. So if we change the column again to four, now it's going to give us our 75% value. And if we were to change this, because it's in the if error, if there is no percentage, it's going to give us a 0%. If you want this when um, there's no percentage selected to give you a zero value, we just got to wrap this formula again in another formula. So we go to where it says VLOOKUP and we type if bracket the table set rep VLOOKUP equals zero, then we want it to be nothing. And if it doesn't equal zero, then we want to index that VLOOKUP formula. So we highlight the VLOOKUP formula. We can type it in that box there. Close that off. And that's all wrapped within our if error formula. And then hit it. So now if we choose one without a percentage, it's going to give us a zero value. So we can choose percentage and non-percentage based formulas. And copy these, paste formula, change the reference cells to be um, one, two, three, four. That should be five and six. We have to change this in two places because we got the formula in there twice. We can copy this across again, paste formula. We got seven and eight, so seven and eight in two places. And we'll just copy this again two more times. Nine and ten. And the last one here. Formula 11 and 12. So now you can select any one of our set and rep combos here. So we can go a 5x5 five five with no percentages. We can go a 3x6 with no percentages. Um, and it's going to highlight all your um, cells here. One last thing to clean this up a little bit, we're going to use a group function to get rid of these orange cells here. So if you highlight the columns that you want to get rid of, and then you go to the data tab and you hit group, and you group those, um, you get a plus and minus bar up at the top for easy selection. So you can highlight those and bring them out or in um, as much as you want. So you can start to see how these sheets come together. Um, if you want to see how we started this sheet, go back to episode seven and take a look at that. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe this video and share it on the social media platform of your choice.